Welcome to Kentuckiana Real Talk, hosted by Jeremy Ward. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe on the podcast provider of your choice and consider subscribing to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel for more expert real estate insights. Now, let's start the show. Hello, it's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. I'm here today with the amazing Susan Vanis. She's a proud member of the Jeremy Ward Team. Uh, Susan came aboard about, uh, what, May of this year? March 1st. Was it March 1st? Man, time, time flies. So, Seven what, months I've been here. Seven months. It seems like it was just yesterday. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was already seven months. How many months. deals in seven months, Susan? 35. 35 deals in seven months. That's strong. Just closed that one, my 35th one uh, yesterday. Awesome. Well, we, we knew that if we could just get the business in front of you, you'd tear it up. I tell you, I've never met somebody with as much energy and personality as Susan. You just amaze me that, I mean, you know, I watch my security cameras through the day and through the night, and I see you coming and going at midnight, seven in the morning, and I don't know if you ever really sleep. I do. Uh, I just don't have a scanner or printer at home, so when I get offers and things, I have to come to the office, and I only live a couple minutes away. So. Yeah, it's pretty convenient yeah. for you. So what have you been up to? You got any new grandkids or anything exciting? Uh, I just found out I'm having a new grandbaby in February. I have 10 now. I have eight eight boys and two girls, and this one's a girl. So oh. I'll have three girls. So they're really excited. I know yeah. you're used to having a lot of kids around. You had triplets, right? I did. I had triplets. They just turned 39 on your birthday this past really? Sunday. Really? So we share the same yes, birthday with the triplets. you share the same on the 17th of September. They just turned, you'll be the big 50 next year and they'll be the big 40. Oh my gosh, 10 years <laughs> difference. So Susan, what, what made you decide to get into real estate? Well, actually... My previous broker, we go to church together, and she asked me one day at church, her admin was just had put in her two weeks notice, and she asked me, would I be interested in maybe being her admin? And I was, because I, I wanted to do something different. What I was in before, I, I didn't like, I yeah. wanted to do something. I, had, I, I have always been interested in real estate, just never pursued it. So I started working for her, and um, then I started going to real estate school at nights when I worked for her as her admin during the day. And then when I got my license, I was trying to do both, but I was getting so busy with real estate, it was hard to do yeah. both. And uh, she, she told me one day, she said, Susan, you need to just do real estate full time. I can always find an admin, but you're so busy with real estate. So... Um, so I started that. Well, it worked. Been in it be 14 years wow. this year. Wow. Yeah. So you started about four years behind me. Yeah. I remember you showing up and really going, and, and of course, yeah. you, you stayed pretty busy and you've done a good job. Uh, so you've been in it 14 years. It'll be 14 years. Well, sure. you learned from one of the best. Vicki Kitterman, really, mm -hmm. you know, I respect her a ton. Vicki has taught me a lot. I have a lot of respect for her. We sometimes never, we didn't see eye to eye on everything, <laughs> but uh, she has taught me a lot in real estate. Yeah. And I think I've realized that since I've came here, mm -hmm. watching the new agents yeah. and thinking in my mind, they should know that. That's real estate 101, but that's what we're here to help them with. Yeah, that's right. You asked me to go on the team to kind of yeah, help them. Help, help and I them. love helping the agents and I love the team. Yeah. I yeah. Do. Well, it's been a great addition having you on the team. You bring a lot of energy and good vibe. And it, I try. It just, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've always been one that when I do something, I want to do it 100%. Yeah. So no, if I it, can't do it 100%, I... You're not going to mess with it? Mm -mm. No. So what do you got planned for this year? Anything big? I know you're you're pretty much reaching your goals, I think. I am. I am. I've never had this many deals that short a time. Really? Closings in my whole real estate career. And I knew if I ever did, you know, leave Vicky, I'd always told you I was coming to the Jeremy Ward team. And because um, I just see what you do for your agents and yeah. your support. Not that Vicky didn't. We just, we were just a smaller office. Yeah. Well, and it, I think it worked out the way it should have. I mean, it was mm -hmm. a great uh, merger, merger with Vicky. You right. got to bring her on board and, and take uh, advantage of her knowledge and right. let her train some of the newer agents. So I think it was a good fit. And I've been excited that, 
that you all came and it's just working out really well. Um, so I, I want to close 40 deals by December 31st. 40 deals. And you got how many more? Five. But you'll do it. Yeah. I'd I got five right. more and I just put three in pending over the weekend. So if those all three close, <laughs> that will help. <laughs> So what's your favorite thing about real estate? I mean, you always have a smile on your face. You seem like your your mindset's good. Like, what keeps you going? What the people. Keeps, the people. Uh, the clients. I remember my very first time um, I closed with um, um, first-time home buyers. They were young. The house wasn't anything spectacular. Three-bedroom, one-bath, little, maybe a 1,000 square feet. But you would have thought they closed on a mansion. Yeah. And just seeing them light up at the closing table. Mm -hmm. I mean, I left there and I was in tears. And mm -hmm. I said, this is what real estate's about. This helping is what it's the about. people. Yeah. And I've always tried to help everybody to reach their housing dreams. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'll go to bat for them 100%, um, you know, and help them the best I can. Yeah. Well, it shows. I see so many five-star reviews coming in from your clients. And you have a lot of repeat clients. I and do. That, and that shows that you've done a good job taking care of people. I think the first week I was here, <laughs> um, three of mine repeat wanted to list their houses like bam, bam, bam. And I was learning your all's <laughs> new way and getting Zillow, you know, clients. And I was just I thought, wow. <laughs> you said you wanted to be busy. I was busy. I love being busy. Yeah. Well, what do you think about the market, Susan? You've been in it long enough now, 14 years. You've seen some some down markets. You've mm -hmm. seen this a market that's been up. What do you, in your opinion, what do you think's happening now and where's it going? I used to worry about it, but I've learned not to worry about it. I, I can't control the market. Right. Um, I remember when... COVID hit, mm -hmm. what was it, 2020? Yeah. And I thought, oh, great. I'm going to have to go out here to Walmart and get a nine, you know, nine-to-five job. I said, I was panicking. It's scary. I support myself. I, that Real estate's my full-time job. I was scared to death. You know, I still had bills to pay. Sure. And uh, it did the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of the best years I'd ever had in 2020 and 2021. Yeah. And... Uh, I remember Vicki handing us all these letters from the real estate commissioner said, keep these in your car in yeah. case you get pulled over yeah. because you're considered an essential, essential worker Yeah, because people need houses. And uh, I remember closing in parking lots yeah. where we had to sign everything in our vehicles because mm -hmm. the title companies weren't letting us go in. I sat one day and closed on somebody's trailer that they had just bought a brand new lawnmower that they were getting ready to go mow their new grass of their new house, and we closed on that trailer. So <laughs> we it, get it done. <laughs> yes, but the real estate market, um, I think you know we're not going to see the two and three percent interest rates probably in my lifetime. Right. I think it will level off to five six percent, which when I bought my first house it was nine or ten percent. Yeah, mine was eight and a half. But I think. People got spoiled yeah. by the interest rates. Uh, people got spoiled by the interest rates, so they're they're afraid to buy now with them that high. But really, they're not that high. No, uh, traditionally, you know, over mm -hmm. the last fifty years, it's just you know five, six, seven percent, still a good rate. Right. Uh, you know, home prices have went up. And I think they're still going to continue to go up. Right. Um, and as we know, if the interest rates do go down. Prices are going to go up even more because right. everybody's going to pile into the market. So it's very interesting talking to people like you that are seasoned agents. It's kind of been through the storms of real estate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just ride it and go with it. And you figure out as an agent, I think you figure out how to problem solve and, and get your client what you they do. need. You and, do. and you get to the closing table and everybody's happy. You um, do. Uh, I feel like, um, you know, I think in, you know, Things slow down toward the holidays a little sure. bit, and but it always picks back up. But you just have to expect that. And I think the longer you're an agent, you just kind of mellow out on things <clears throat> like that. Yeah, I've, you have I've to. talked to some of the newer agents. They, you know, they panic and they think, "Oh gosh, I'm not busy enough, busy enough." But you know, you will. You'll reach that. The more you're in real estate, 
you're going to have repeat business and and it just takes time yeah you got to build that book and, mm-hmm. and you know people move every couple of years now so if you mm-hmm. st- that's what i tell the agents you know they're working the newer agents usually work buyers mm-hmm. you know it's just kind of the the, the low-hanging fruit for them right but those guys turn into sellers they do. in a few years. And then they have families that yes. will use you. Last <clears throat> week, my new listing was the daughter of the parents of my very first listing. Oh, man, that's awesome. Isn't it? And I sold the parents a house. I listed their house and sold it, and then I sold them a house. Well, they still use me. They still use me. And, you know, that makes me feel good. Yeah. That I feel like I've now I'm selling their kids' house houses well when you become like a family name mm-hmm. you know like it's our family's realtor i i have the same kind of story um a good turned into be you know you end up being good friends with your clients you do and and i so, have to watch myself i get too sometimes get a little too close yeah <laughs> showing up at birthday parties yeah. and uh, you know what's fun though you know it, it, it really feels good uh, when people acknowledge that you you know you, mm-hmm. you did a great job, and for that I'm gonna I'm gonna let you work with my son. That's trust or my daughter. That's it trust. It is, and it really shows. I've got a friend named Brian Bell, and we met at an open house like probably my first year in real estate when I was working for Advantage Plus up in the Meyer Manor. Yeah, kind of where I cut my teeth, and uh, you know <clears throat> didn't sell him one of those homes that day, but we, we started going out and looking, and we I bet Brian has bought five six houses with me over the years. And now his kids, who I can remember, his youngest daughter, um, grabbed me by the pinky, mm-hmm. and I led her through the house while mom and dad was kind of really trying to look at what they were buying. And I was kind of babysitting a little bit, but that little girl is now twenty years old, Aww. and she's looking for houses, you know. And I then know, that makes you feel Brian good. and his new wife uh, Mary, they're they're working with Sherry on the team right now, and they're they're looking for houses. So it's just really become kind of a big family network for us, and it's it's. Uh, just good stuff. So I can relate it is. to that. It is. And I always want to see everybody succeed. And I think on the team here, Jeremy Ward team, I see so much um, everybody wanting to help everybody. Yeah. And I was out of town this past weekend, and it was really good to be able to pick up the phone. Somebody wanted to see a house Saturday that I could get someone to show it for me. Absolutely. And that's that's really good. Yeah, I really like that about the team. But um, I love real estate. It's I didn't know if I would when I first got in it, but I don't think real estate is for everybody. But I think I've found my niche. Yes, I think you have. (laughs) (laughs) And I love it. I love the challenge of it. Mm -hmm. I love the adventure. You know, you take the good with the bad. Yeah. Uh, But. You know, you have a bad transaction, and it takes a while to get to the closing table. Just nothing with the clients. Just it just is what it is. It's just what it is. And um, but then the next one, you'll have a real smooth one. And yeah. you just and you, we've got great people to work with. We've got preferred lenders that you partner with, and they're there to help you succeed too. Absolutely. And uh, you know, the buy down rates are great. Um, everything. It's cool. just. It's a, it's a whole different different level for me since I've come to the Jeremy Ward team. And I push myself. I try to push myself, okay, 40 deals this year. Because I came March the 1st. Uh-huh. So I, went, I, I won't be here a whole 12 months, but 10 months. But I push myself to be 35. Well, I've met 35. So now I want to try to get to 40. And then next year, I'll push myself a little bit up. I'm going to make a little wager. I'm I'm going to say you end up closer to 50 deals this year. I'm just saying with your pace and your energy and the way you take care of people, uh, they're going to keep coming. These, you know, that's not just a fluke that you're doing this. It, it's I it's because of your hard work and I your know. you know your diligence to your client, and it shows up. I love my clients. I've got some great clients that still text me periodically. Hey, how you doing? Let's have lunch. You know and. I do the same, and if I haven't heard from some of my older clients in a while, I'll send them a card because people still like the personal touch. Sure. They yeah. like the older people aren't into the texting and emails and the Twitter and <laughs> Instagram. But when you send them a short little note that says, I'm thinking about you, that just makes their day. Absolutely. Yeah. So 
Are all deals easy, Susan? No. Have you had a few that, that make you keep you up at night? They do. <clears throat> I've had a few of those. Yeah, I've got a few. <clears throat> Actually, right now, I've got a few that uh, are keeping me up at night, you know, and some of them are on my own properties. You know, it's just what happens in, yeah. in real estate. and uh, It does. And, and I lay awake and I'm a bad person about saying, what could I do better? What did I do wrong? And, and maybe it wasn't anything anybody did wrong. Like, how can I work through this? I do that. It, you know, I, I admit it wakes me up at night yeah. thinking about it. It does when you're when you're all in like you are. It, it, it's I can I can relate to that because that's you know when I started it I left Ford and it was like either sink or swim, buddy. Right. You know, and so I swam. And you had a family too. <laughs> yeah, I swam hard and I still lay up at night thinking about these deals and even past deals. What could I have done better? Right. You know, and and I think that's where we learn that you know with the experience mm -hmm. that that you and I have now exactly after fourteen years twenty years. Um, we can kind of navigate through that a little easier where I do feel sorry for some of these newer agents that just kind of got slammed into a market that was right. so busy and moving so fast. And a lot of mistakes I feel like are, are going to show up mm -hmm. in a few years just because everything was moving so fast and not necessarily our office or, or one particular office, just in general for right. real estate. But that's why you have great Bye. managing brokers and admins and you and, and seasoned agents they're there to help you say, what could I do to work through this problem? I don't have the answers. I mean, I have clients ask me something every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I can answer them, I do. But if I don't, I say, let me get that. I can I can find out about that. Let me let me get that answer for you. You know, when we got in probably, you know, within a few years of each other, it seemed like that the agents, there was more seasoned agents at that time when I got in. And they really did like work the deal we worked together to get the deal done right. and everybody kind of was maybe not on the same team but we all had the same goal right and and we worked together and we bounced up off each other and we we'd, we'd help each other right and i missed that I, I, there's still some of that that goes on i think with the maybe the the more um, experienced agents because you know that's how we were taught right uh but here i, I don't know there's just a lot of uh I remember the Back days of the caravans when, yeah. <laughs> when we would take, take we'd jump in somebody's van and go to these houses. And I remember the days when you carried that. Bob. You know, you, and mine was always losing charge. Yeah. And <laughs> I'd get to a house and I'd say, oh, crap, we can't get in this house. And there's nothing more embarrassing than not being able to get in a house when they might have drove 30 miles to see the house. Or from out of state. Yeah. You know, I had that happen to me. I had my kids with me. <laughs> and it was when I was first starting out. They were in car seats and went up to hit the door to get the super open. My fob wouldn't work, and it hadn't been updated. And we had to drive somewhere where right. I could update it. And right. You remember the carbon copy oh, uh, yeah. contracts that we had to use? Oh, yeah. And the fax machines that you could never read what come through because you were you were faxing the carbon copy. Right. You know, there was three. There was a original. Uh, yellow and a red yeah. and you'd rip it off and leave it with the client because they needed a copy then you take it back to the office then you you know send it to your broker send it to the buyer's agent or the seller's agent it was a lot of work there was. and before that they used to have to go pick up the keys, the keys. At the office. i wasn't in real estate then but i've heard <laughs> other older real oh. estate people yeah we used to have like barbara shaw mm -hmm. she would say yeah i'd drive around Every, all the offices in the morning pick up keys, go show houses, and have to drop them back out. And, and I wonder what they did. You know, I'm sure that, you know, so you got a one o'clock appointment. Mm -hmm. You went and got the keys at noon, and, and okay, you're done. But how did they schedule the I next know. person? Because you had to allow time for that key to make it back to yeah. the office. That seems like that would have been a nightmare. It, it would. And I think, I think that's why we're seeing with technology. Mm -hmm. Uh, and systems that we have, we can do a lot more, get a lot more done. Right. Um, and and not all the running around. I can't imagine running around doing all that. Like, how would you do thirty five or forty deals in seven months if you had to do you that? You couldn't. You couldn't. I, I got up to eighty three deals one year, but we did. We did. I think have DocuSign mm -hmm. in, in in that by then. That helps. And I mean, when I go to a house and with the Super app on your phone, and and I'm unlocking it, and it's making that noise, and everybody's saying. <laughs> What? That's me. <laughs> How do I get one of them? Right. I said you, you don't. Can't. We don't give these out. Uh, clients will say, wow, that's pretty nice. Is that on your phone? I said, yeah. He says, 
can anybody get one of them? And I said, no. <laughs> no, not that easy. No. So we're in September. Mm -hmm. You've got about another 15 deals to do to hit 50. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think you're going to do I, it. I'm going to try. you're going to do it. Um, anything that you'd like to say to our viewers about the market, if they were as a first-time buyer maybe or thinking about selling their house, what kind of – Let's start with the buyer. If they're a first-time buyer, what would you tell them? Uh, they're, they're calling you, Susan, and they're wanting to start looking. What, what's your best piece of advice for those guys? I would say to get them, if they don't already have someone, to get them with a lender. Yeah. And the simple reason is uh, for two reasons. Sometimes people are pre-approved for more than they think they will. Yeah. And maybe they're pre-approved. <laughs> For thirty, forty thousand dollars more, that's going to make a big difference on the type of home they buy. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you're approved for a hundred, if you think you can only buy a hundred thousand dollar home, nine times out of ten, that home's probably going to need some some cosmetic or some <laughs> TLC. Yeah. But if you go to a lender and just see what you're going to be approved for, say he says you're approved for one hundred thirty thousand, one hundred thirty five. That's not going to make your payment that much more. What, ten or fifteen dollars, twenty dollars? Because it's so much on every ten thousand, I think. Mm -hmm. But of course, that depends on credit scores and things like that, and other things. But I would suggest the first thing is, you know, have us to get you with a lender, one of our preferred lenders, and let's just see what you can buy, what your payment will be. And a lot of times, people are shocked, saying, "Well, I'm glad I did that." before I started looking, because I thought I could only buy yeah. in this price range. Yeah. The second reason is, I'll show you houses all day long, but I don't want you to fall in love with a home and not be pre-approved, and then you go to get pre-approved, and you're so excited, you're ready to put an offer in, then you find out you can't buy it. You can't buy it, or the time it took to mm -hmm. do that, somebody else bought it. Right, so it's better to be ready to go in today's market because houses are going just yeah. like that. Yeah, it hasn't slowed down. It has not. I mean, you're not seeing 100 multiple offers like no. the time an hour after it hits the market, but you're still you're still getting multiple offers and houses yeah. are going because inventory is still low. Yeah, I looked at the inventory last night. We're up to about 800 uh, mm -hmm. properties and that's all of our market, mm -hmm. all of our board in Southern Indiana, we need 3,000 to be balanced. So right. we're not even a third, no. not even a third of the way you'd be in the no. balanced market, let alone a buyer's market. So for sellers, Susan, seller calls you in this market. Mm -hmm. What are you, some of the things that you suggest? I know that could be, it would depend, right? Like, right. what are you selling? But if they were worried about selling in this market, what would you, what would you think you could advise them? Oh, I would like to meet with them, mm -hmm. sit down and talk to them, which I just just did that with a buyer that's not or a seller that's not quite ready to sell yet, but mm -hmm. they wanted some information on how to get their house ready. Sure. They need to paint, put flooring in. And each individual is different. Right. Each seller's different and each property is different. So I always like when a seller calls me, say, Hey, we're thinking about listing our house and I have a packet that I take with them, what you, you know, what the market is. Mm -hmm. I do a CMA, but I always like to see the property before I do that. And then I tell them what I feel like we can possibly put this house on for and get it sold for. Yeah. You know, I don't know that, that mm -hmm. everybody understands all that's in, involved in when, mm -hmm. a, when an agent comes out. We just don't go out and put a sign in the no. yard. Like we're there no. to tell them like, like these things are going to show up on a, on a appraisal or mm -hmm. inspections. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of now. Right. You know, Tipping pain. If they're if a buyer is FHA, you know, they're going to fly that. And sellers, they welcome that information. Yes. And they welcome that information and they want to know. They're eager to learn what it's going to take because their goal at the end of the day is to sell their house. Right. And they're trusting you. They're paying you to get them there. Absolutely. So, uh, I do my best, and I tell them I don't sugarcoat. Nope. If I see something that needs done, I tell them. Now, whether they do it or not will make a difference on how their house does. But I've been in it long enough where the sellers that do what I tell them to do, they get great, you know, great price for their home, and it go they get it fast. Yeah, you know, it's so refreshing when you walk into a home and they've got everything itemized, all their repairs, all their services. Oh yeah, they've got a whole list of their utilities the year are and laid everything. Out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then when they do what you tell them, because mm -hmm. uh, they really are hiring you because you're the right. expert, right. and if they'll let you lead, usually it's a smooth transaction. 
And nine times out of ten of my clients, they all do. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, you'll get one that thinks they know more than you do. Right. And, and I want to say, when did you get your real estate license? <laughs> How many years you been selling houses? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't. You know, I listen to what they say. Sure. I always listen. And at the end of the day, the seller has the right. The right. And they're, they, they've got the last say. Yeah, we work for them. But I try to explain to them and show it something in a different light. And they say, oh, well, I never thought about that. It would be like me going to Ford's and trying to tell somebody how to put a part on a Ford. Right, you know? right. And, you know, I've been doing this for years. Like, they've been at Ford for years. I wouldn't even pretend to go <laughs> over there and tell them how to do their job. Right. So, no, you know, makes sense. it's... But most of the time, all the sellers, I've I've been fortunate. I've had very good sellers and buyers. I've heard nightmares of other agents that's yeah. had some really rough deals. I've been very fortunate. Um, I try to keep my T's crossed and my I's dotted, and I try to be. I try to treat cl my clients like I would want to be. Called. Sure. I always put that in my mind. I, I treat everybody that way I would want to be treated. So you just have to be upfront, honest, and let them know this is the way it is, you know, and mm -hmm. this is what's going to get your house up. We're not here to fool you, to lie no. to you, or to make but you feel good. But we can't make them. It's at the very end, at the end of the day, it's their decision on what, how much they want to put into their house to get ready to sell. Absolutely. Well, Susan, I'm really, really excited to see you finish <laughs> out this year strong like I I'm know you will. I'm excited too. And for our viewers, if you guys would like this type of experience with an agent that will come to your house and, and bend over backwards and try to do everything <laughs> she can do to help you, you need to give Susan a call. Susan, what's your contact information? You can uh, email me at Susan at the Jeremy Ward team. And my phone number is 812-267-0346. Susan, we appreciate you. We're glad you Thank come you. on to talk to the viewers today. And for more local real estate information, please subscribe and like the Jeremy Ward team YouTube channel.